Hello, Kitty. In the last video, we talked about a few lessons I learned from creating a comic book in the style of medieval illuminated manuscripts, and we looked at a way to add text to our colored panels using tracing paper for proofreading before adding the text in the computer. Once that's done, the last step of the process is to prepare the manuscript for printing. Now, I'm not sure if this is a step that most comic book creators do themselves, or if it is common practice to pass it on to a third party. Book design and book layout is something I've always included in my comic book creation process. It's not that complicated to do, if you already know how to use publishing softwares, and if you've gathered all the technical requirements from your chosen printer such as margins, bleeds, and file format. It only took me a few days to complete this part, which is great because this part is the part I don't enjoy very much. I want to do it, but I also want to get it over with as soon as possible. Any activity that requires me to stare at a computer screen for more than four hours straight is too much of a nice train, kitty. I just need a break from staring at light. Now, you probably know why I try to keep these videos as short as possible. I'd like to think you also have a lot of time left to spend away from the screen. It may be time spent in your own sketch gym, or your paint gym, or your own backyard gym, around the block, or around the park. We've noticed this before, haven't we, kitty? When our body is in motion, our mind is calm. This is probably why we dream so much when we're asleep in bed. The bed is the perfect place to be stuck in La La Land or to watch a scary movie. Have you noticed this too, Kitty? Being stuck in one place is an effective way to make your mind go cray cray. It's been a few weeks now, Kitty. I know how you feel. We're all stuck in one spot for now. But I think there's a good kind and a bad kind of cray cray. A healthy type and an unhealthy type. Cray cray that's bad and unhealthy is when we make little things look bigger than they are. That drives us to act out of proportion. Or when we get stuck in the weeds, fixating on petty things that we become unable to see the bigger picture. In this panel, things are out of proportion. You've guessed it, Kitty. It's a dream scene from our big book project. Now, this is the type of cray cray that I like and consider as the good kind. It's the kind of crazy that we experience in our dreams when we're asleep. It can be quite fascinating if you're aware that it's all a dream and not confuse it with reality. Most of it don't make much sense because it does look a bit crazy, but sometimes it can be a riddle waiting to be solved. And once solved, it can be quite revelatory. And sometimes, it can lead you to write a whole new story. Alright, kitty. Don't go cray-cray during the day. Save that for when you're asleep and deep in la-la land. That's all for now. I'll talk to you later.